I want to thank you for joining us uh, for another uh, episode of Sermon Highlights. Today we're here again with our pastor from the Shiloh Sydney Adventist Church, Dr. Harold Thomas III. I want to thank you, sir, for being here, for to, to give us the, uh, the highlights, the tips uh, of your sermon today. I can recall your sermon um, title, Tips to Keep You from Losing Your Mind. Yes. And that was a, a powerful message that you presented today. And I want you just to go through and just give us uh, some of those tips that you've shared with us today. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot, Elder. I appreciate uh, you creating this platform and the highlights of the message. Tips to keep you from losing your mind. We're all burdened with so many challenges in our culture today. And so many people are suffering from anxiety, depression, um, and it is at almost epidemic level. And, and, and learning how to build in coping mechanisms to help you deal with it. My message today wasn't comprehensive, but it just shared a few tips. Um, because anxiety in our family, on the job, and our finances, our health, um, marriages, our communities, our nation is divided, um, I wanted to just share some tips. And so number one, just using the biblical basis, Philippians 4 was our scripture reading, Philippians 4, 6 through 9. But remember Paul, uh, 4, 6 through 9, remember Paul ends up, uh, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Paul in prison is right in prison is writing letters to his church, and the whole book uh, is considered the epistle of joy because over and over from prison he's telling them to experience joy and rejoice. Mm -hmm. It's not as though the circumstances are not bad, but he's able to re endure in it and rejoice in spite of the, the uh, situation. And so from that, I extracted some principles, uh, four, four points to help you, four tips. Number one, the first tip is remember, whatever you think, your thoughts uh, do become ingrained in your mind. So if you focus on the negative, those neural transmitters in your mind will create pathways and it will create those grooves in your mind to always think along those things. But if you think, try to look at the good, the positive, and solutions, uh, your brain will create new pathways mm. that creates more of a positive mindset when you approach obstacles. Number two, uh, just because a thought comes to your mind doesn't mean that it's true or based in reality. Many times we can have thoughts that come to our mind that doesn't mean it's true. You can say, uh, he could be my husband or she could be my wife. But if they're already married, that doesn't equal to a possibility mm. just because you thought it. The elections were criticized as being stolen, but it's not based in facts. So just because a thought comes in your mind doesn't make it reality. And I can go on and on with that. Number three. Uh, re remember, uh, replace uh, negative thoughts with new ones. Replace old thoughts with new ones. The thing about emptying your mind is not true. The Bible tells us in Romans 12, 2, we must renew our minds. So Jesus tells us to renew our minds. So we need to replace the old one with new ones. It's the illustration that Jesus used talking about the demons. Once he cast the demons out, you must replace it with God, uh, uh, biblical principles, uh, heavenly principles, new thoughts, new ambitions, new desires. If not, seven more demons worse can occupy. Wow. And so we must renew. And so when God is renewing, taking those old negative, guilt-ridden, fault-finding attitudes out of our minds, we must replace them with love and compassion, understanding, gratitude, uh, replace them with new thoughts. And, so and the last one is number four. And number four is we must put a filter or screen over our mind. And we base that upon Philippians 4, where it says, what's over things are true, what's over things are honest, what's over things are just, what's over things are pure, what's over things are virtuous. Think on these things. So the Bible wants us to think on those things that are noble, true, honest, and of good report. So if we filter and guard our thoughts to think upon those things, it will help us filter and keep out the negative thing that tries to invade us. So these are some basic principles to help us from losing our mind. So remember, the thoughts you have become the thoughts that are ingrained. So you want to focus on the good, the positive, and what God is working in your life. Number two, just because you have a thought comes to your mind doesn't mean it's true or based in reality. So we want to check that against scripture and reality and others. Number three, 
It's not about emptying our mind. We must replace the old thoughts and renew our minds with those things that are biblically based and God-centered that will guide us to a positive results. So, uh, and then the fourth one is we must put a screen or a filter and that's based upon Philippians 4, 8. Now, that's, those are just some basic tips. There are others, good sleep, exercise, eating healthy, all right, and keeping balance in our lives will help complement the ones I've just shared with you. May God bless you as you seek to live in peace in a chaotic world. Pastor, I want to thank you for coming back here and sharing those tips with us. And I hope that we may use it uh, to better our lives or to live our lives according to the words that you have just shared uh, with us. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it, Elder. All right.